Hello everyone and welcome back to Arma 2 Vehicle Showcase. My name is Sean from SG Gaming and today we are going to be doing a beauty called the A-10 Warthog. It is the primary American close air support slash ground attack aircraft and has been used since 1972 so obviously they did something right. Let's start her up, get her going. Now I really felt that the last video with the hind was really too short to be called a showcase. So I'm really going to try and make this, this one in the 15 minute range. Let's go ahead and taxi out to the runway. Clear our wing. All right. This aircraft is probably the best closer support aircraft. Am I going to say in the world? Yes, I'll go ahead and say in the world. It is flawless. It is Everyone that drives, I say drives, everyone that flies this aircraft loves it. Alright, let's take this baby off and shoot some tanks. Flaps down. Alright, full throttle, let's get this baby in the air. Now let's talk about weapons. This plane has a multitude of weapons to attack the ground with. It has the 30 millimeter cannon, which is very distinctive. Let's see, gear up, flaps up. Everyone who has heard an A-10 shoot its cannon will never forget the sound. It is extremely distinctive. Anyone in the arms fo armed forces knows when an A-10 is around and I would hate to be on the wrong end of this guy. It also has, uh, let's see, AGMs, air-to-ground missiles. This particular one is the Maverick. I believe that is the primary air-to-ground missile that the United States Air Force uses. We also have two Sidewinders, which is the air-to-air -air capability of the A-10. Sidewinder is not a real long-range missile. Uh, our fighter jets are equipped with the missile called the AMRAM, as well as Sidewinders. Sidewinders being the about six-mile missile, and the AMRAMs exceeding, I believe, 20 miles. Now, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what they're designed to do. We also have some unguided bombs, some GBUs, as well as some hydro rockets. So it should be a fun time. How about we lead off with a hydro rocket spray? Looks like I just flew over them, so we'll circle around. Excuse me. Okay, we'll circle around right here, see if we can get a good shot at them. Now, hydro rockets are dummy rockets. So, you're not going to be exactly tactile with them. And let's see if I can get their position down there. Okay, I see a bunch of them. Get some distance in between us and them. Lower the throttle and engage our turn. All right. See if we can zoom in and see these guys. Ah.
I think we got him. Oh yeah. All right. Let's clean up with some Mavericks. Mavericks do have the ability to lock on. So let's see what we get on radar. Ah, there we go. One missile away. Hit. Let's see if we can do another one. Hit, and he's down. Alright. Circle back around and use some of those sidewinders. Sidewinders are primarily an air-to-air -air missile, but you can use them for air-to-ground. Not recommended, but you can. At least in this game. Alright, let's get him in view. One away. He's hit. We're not going to have time to lock on to him, so let's see. We'll circle back around. Please do let me know if this is the kind of content you guys want to see. Um, I love constructive feedback, so if you guys leave me uh, some comments, tell me what I can do to improve, tell me what I need to do different, if I need to do uh, different kinds of missions, maybe uh, different kinds of vehicles, do let me know. I would really appreciate it. Alright, we got Tone. Let's launch it. Ah, we hit the hill. Well, I think we can drop some bombs on him. Let's give him a little GPU action. Alright. Slow ourselves down. Gain a little altitude. Alright, nose down. Get on course. Zoom in. There's one right there. Watch those guys impact. Oh yeah. I think we got one. Alright, now let's try out the cannon. The cannon on these is insanely loud. Insanely loud. I've been on uh, Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri and heard these things go off and thought it was an earthquake. Alright, there's our first target. I think we got him. I'll kind of get a little bit more air so you guys can see those impact. I would definitely not want to be on the receiving end of one of these. Alright. Let's hit that little barricade right there. Oh yeah, they're toast. Alright, well I'll do uh, one more gun run and then we'll uh, take it on in for a landing. Alright, this ought to be good. Let's see if we can get some good hits. There we go. Lined him up. Perfect. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Let's swing wide and head back to base.
we are getting out to the range tomorrow. Uh, I believe I said it in my Call of Duty video. Uh, we're going out to the range. I'm going to get some range footage for you guys. Uh, maybe us yes, shoot some stuff up. Uh, that should be up tomorrow night. Uh, that would be, let's see, that would be August 8th. So it should be ready to go tomorrow. Get you guys some good range footage. Alright. Do a little figure eight type thing here to bleed off some speed. No problems with the track I are there. There we go. There we go. Alright. Well, it may not be the prettiest landing I've ever done, but... Get the flaps down, gear down. Kind of straighten this up a little bit. Yeah, we need to lose some altitude. And we're down. Alrighty. Put us back over there by the AC-130, and call that a day. Like I said, uh, please leave me a comment telling me uh, what I can do better, or uh, if I'm doing things okay, or if you have any suggestions for what I should do next. Um, I believe my next uh, showcase video will be the AH-64 Apache, uh, which I'm going to do with my uh, friend Austin, who will be at the range with us tomorrow. So. Uh, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe for future content, and thank you guys for watching this video, and have a good one.